Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to yet another video. And here we are in the Deadman mode season uh, after, uh, let's say, Restless Night. Uh, I'm now back online and playing RuneScape because I enjoyed this game. Um, but yeah, once again, I uh, just want to say a quick thank you for everyone showing support. Obviously, there's a lot of people um, talking shit about me, like I wasn't protected and whatnot. I'm just gonna ignore those comments. I protected myself as much as I could. Uh, for a freaking Slovenian internet mate, um, but yeah for the next time I'm gonna be even more prepared against EDOS attacks And if there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can do uh, Those are the stats right now I just grabbed myself 10k on the in Varrock and came to Lumbridge and decided to kill some frogs while I buried their bones And then we're gonna do a lot of questing because questing actually doesn't count towards the cap this time around And all the quests that give experience will be very beneficial to do So we're just gonna do a lot of quests this time around on the deadman mode Everything that will give me some sort of experience I think I will try to knock down um, Like I'm, I'm talking ne Nezihelm, I'm talking um, uh, Dragon Slayer, all, the, all that sort of things And I will be PKing but mostly I think I will be just chilling doing Slayer and what And just enjoying the game um, and uh, just go a, a bit different build. I don't I don't like the magic range PK build that much in the season It's just so boring and so expensive and you kind of are forced to take donations if you want to PK with it So I'm gonna go the Slayer route uh, what I enjoy doing um, what I did in the tournament uh, and we're gonna be PKing um, Let's say Torvesta style AFK checker style whenever we feel like it But for now, I just feel like chilling doing some Slayer and um, you know getting my stats up and finishing the quests and whatnot uh, But yeah, once again uh, a long out intro, but uh, thank you boys for all the support. I would not be here without you. All right, let's get into the video I also started training my alt account. This account will be a wyvern killing alt uh, This season there's a lot of new changes which really do help with wyvern killing in general So this account is going to be 55 magic and as much high up far range as possible alongside with 40 defense it's gonna be a very simple, very self-explanatory account, and I'll take you on uh, the, the like with the journey of how I created this alternate account. Uh, meanwhile, I will be uh, PKing mostly on my main, and since PKing is expensive, I need to make myself some money now. Sometimes, if you're a streamer, you do get a, a don like. Sometimes, if you're a streamer, you do get donations, and that make it easier for you to you know, start PKing and whatnot, but this account is going to demonstrate you how easy or hard it is to make, uh, you basically, uh, money for yourself. Um, now, there we go, we're currently 42 magic, and I will be teleporting to Birthrope right after this rat. We do have the 10k, and uh, you can get that from uh, Barbarian Village. We also have a couple of runes, um, just so we can teleport around. But we're gonna start slaying straight up from the start, uh, but the one thing you need to do on the start of the account is take one task from Turail, uh, because after that we're gonna be doing most of our tasks from Wilderness Slayer. Now, this guy will teach you um, how to do Slayer, so you just need to speak to him, ask him about Slayer at first, and then he gives you his, your first task, and then after this you can take tasks from Wilderness. So if we check this one, we ended up getting a couple of Dwarves, which is very easy if you just teleport to Falador, and then you kill them uh, going a little bit north. So we're gonna finish our 55 magic on Dwarves, and obviously defense training as well. I wanna get defense to 40, we're gonna finish it all on Dwarves, and then we're gonna use Starter Bow to start training range even more. So let's do it. 21 agility for the Varrock shortcut. Get 43 prayer. If you decide to bury bones, make sure you bury them outside of safe zones for extra experience. Find yourself a good gear to use. I prefer Dorgishun's crossbow, and when I will be able to, I will also be wearing the blue dehind. And then go ahead and grab yourself a task from the Wilderness Slayer Master. Get 50 magic on the slowest slayer task in the world, and equip full blue dehind, and now it's a little bit more relaxing. This is a prequest for animal magnetism, if I ever feel like doing it. Um, I will probably do it at some point, uh, but I just don't feel like questing as of right now. Bone bolts are pretty cheap anyways, and uh, yeah, I don't mind losing some. Actually, I should probably finish, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what I end up doing, but a little bit of pre XP. And I also got two emblems in this task, which is decent. I don't know how much they're going for, probably not too much, but I'll just be saving them for now, for to buy rune pouch on my actual main. Well, there is 70 range, and we just got another mysterious emblem that is pretty nice. Uh, already got two and still have 60 left to kill, so not bad at all. Um, and I have like uh, one more level in range to get. I'm 52 Slayer, getting closer to 
uh, to that uh, 72 that we need, um, but obviously it does take a while. All right, so here we are completing our first quest that I want to complete. Um, I know I mentioned that I'm not going to be PKing much. I changed my mind since I'm making a lot of money on my uh, Ranger, a Ranger Slayer account. I will probably be PKing tomorrow already. Um, but for now, I want to complete all the quests leading up to the Monkey Madness. Um, but there is the first one, which is Three Gnome. Uh, what is this? This place called Three Gnome something. And uh, we're now gonna go and go right here and complete the Grand Three, I think, as well. Then Waterfall, and then maybe I'll go back and complete the 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 fight arena as well. Uh, I want to be wearing my Dragon Scimitar in about two hours when the new cap comes out. I will also get up to 60 defense, and the rest will go in strength. So we're gonna be running around with snares. Uh, a little bit of a blue dehyde and the door crossbow in case we get annoyed and uh, just DDS and a dragon scimitar to just pack some people out. Anyways, oh, I did not want to attack you, no, I'm sorry. All right, let's uh, let's finish all the quests, I guess. Second quest of the quest that I want to do, I guess. Um, let's speak to my boy. Where, no, no, that's a garn. Uh, there, there he is right under me. There we go. We got a Deconia rock in this route right here, uh, which is the best. Like, you just get it and finish the quest, which is awesome. Might get an attack level from this one. Not exactly sure, but there it is. Let's see if we get a level. We do get one attack level, so that is not a bet at all. Uh, let's go ahead and finish. I guess we can go straight to Monkey Madness. Let's do Monkey Madness, and then we're going to do Waterfall and Fight Arena and all of those a bit later. Fun part, I'm gonna actually knock two birds at one, with one stone right here. I actually have a monkey task and I think I have like 18 of them or something, or, or like not many of them. So since I already need monkey bones for... Uh, uh, yeah, since I already need monkey bones for the quest, I might as well just finish the task right here. And for the 20th time in a row, let's complete the monkey madness right here, speaking to Narnode Sharin, my dude. Uh, anytime now, there it is. Thank you very much, sir. And now we're gonna grab attack, defense, and um, get ourselves, I think, close to 60 attack. I still have to complete waterfall right after, so let's quickly talk to Daerio, and he's gonna teach us attack and defense techniques real quickly here. Any moment now, focus on attack and defense, that's what we wanna focus on. And we're done with the training, and there it is. The stats right now are 59, 70, and 59. Let's go ahead and complete ourselves uh, the waterfall real quick. All right, so we do boom, we do boom, we do boom, boom. And then we do boom, and, uh, and boom, boom. And also done, and now I have two minutes left for the next experience cap. So what we're gonna be doing right here is we are actually going to go ahead and complete the Barrow's Gloves quest real quick. Uh, you only need a couple of items. It is very, very simple. I already have all the items with me. And then after that, um, we are gonna complete Law. Uh, actually, no, and we're gonna keep Lost City for a bit and we're just gonna go into the guild and get ourselves, I guess, cap out and then get ourselves uh, some defenders. Um, I'm gonna be getting 60 defense in the next cap, uh, maybe a little bit more attack, but mainly just strength up uh, as much as possible. That's gonna be the goal for this, uh, this cap. Um, but yeah, not bad at all. Let's get ourselves the items that we need and finish uh, two very quick quests. Alrighty there, Mr. Cook, what do you need? Actually, I know where to find the stuff. There you go, my friend. Let me finish this one real quick and then start the next one. Thank you, sir. Um, do you have any other requests for me? I actually don't know what the fuck I need to do. I hopefully have... Oh, I don't have rotten... Fuck. Grrr. All right. Uh, anyways, let me figure it out. And there we go. We have just about all the items that we needed. And this is also completed. And now we're going to have to go through cutscene. And then we're going to be able to buy Barrow's Gloves. Uh, we have the money already. And after that... Warriors Guild shenanigans. Alright, 15 minute cutscene is over. Not really 15, but the cutscene is just way too long. Either way, let's quickly buy items right here. Get ourselves one of these bad boys. Big gloves obtained. Uh, best gloves in the game. That's what we need. And let's get ready for the Warriors Guild. I'll do the Lost City at another date. Uh, probably after I cap. Um, but yeah, let's go.
And by the looks of things, uh, people already have the defenders. I am a little bit slow, obviously. Uh, might get PK'd by this dude right here, just outside the... Oh, never mind. He doesn't look like he can PK. Um, but yeah, uh, not many people in the guild, uh, because it's day 3. Obviously, I took rest after the Dead Mode tournament. Um, and now I'm kind of back. I'm going to be grinding, and you can expect PKing video... Hopefully tomorrow, if I get enough clips, but if not tomorrow, definitely the day after that, you can expect some PKing from me and, uh, you know, we're gonna go hard for the entire month, now that I had a couple of days of rest. Um, once again, thank you guys for insane support, almost 45,000 of you guys decided to subscribe to my channel, which I do appreciate a lot. And uh, yeah, just up from here, boys. Um, let's get a lot, of, uh, a lot of Warrior Guild tokens, and let's start getting some defenders. Let's do it.